yeah. in general and also streaming for a lot of tournaments and a lot of great talent out there in the East Coast. Once again, House 3000 on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the to that YouTube channel to keep you in lock and with a lot of great players, especially if you're from you know Long Island. Um, and then you can go from there. I, I really don't know their Facebook page, but I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure once you guys you know figure out the location, you can start setting things up. But most definitely, I think there's probably like an MDVA or like a um, Long Island, New York, yeah, or like, a Tri-State, like yeah. Tri-State, you know, Facebook page that'll help you find your tournament there. I hope you do find it, by the way. Yeah. Um, and one thing I like to do, just in general, and you guys feel free to take this advice, but like, I, I just go on Twitch randomly, and uh, you know, like at a time where a tournament might be happening, and I see what streaming Smash Ultimate. And I see what tournaments I find out, and I just follow the tournaments, and then now I'm following them. And that's how I uh, found out about uh, this. This is one tournament that happens at Thunder Studios now, like uh, ABN or, or something like that. Uh, Thunder Smash Thursday, Tuesdays, I think. I think so. But yeah, about? that one I found out just because I was browsing. Yeah, like, SoCal okay. actually has a dedicated uh, website called SoCalSmash.net. Uh, and that website is dedicated to helping players in SoCal to find a local new event. SoCal Smash Dunham is your number one place, honestly, the only place to find great locals near you with the latest tournament PR SoCal. results. Yeah, here in SoCal. <laughs> near you if I wish we had a website like that everywhere, but the yeah. only thing we'll have everywhere here is going to be Ant and Illumbre. Yep. SoCal made template. Let's, let's see you guys on East Coast too. Anyways. Oh man, uh, this is a funny matchup because it's not funny at all. <laughs> I feel like this is a matchup most definitely that Villager does win. Even being yeah. from Smash 4, this is a matchup Villager just, once they have Ness off the stage, they're able to pocket things like, you know, PK Thunder, and not only that, having like a pretty great recovery plan against yeah. Ness. And just those forward airs and back airs, are just, they're so like, uh, excessive. Yeah. And most then like, then the, uh, those snipes that happen with the back air, yeah, most definitely too. Not only that, like, Village is just toolkit, honestly, just puts a really big debt in a lot of Ness's plans. Being able to pocket, like, PK5, PK Thunder, down throw, nice, going for the forward air immediately, but the back air was there mm. in front of Ant. That was too stuck. Yeah, I feel like, um, Ant, oh wait, uh, are the tags backwards? Yes, okay. sorry, the tags are backwards. Nice. Yeah, like uh, Ant already kind of like, I don't know if it's like a, a nest thing or a Lumber thing, but he kind of already knows how uh, Lumber has been wanting to do his PK fires, you know, Aerial, and he caught two of them in a row. Mm -hmm. um, he kind of like, I like that he kind of already knows what to expect. Yeah, Ant's, Ant's been a pretty good player, honestly. I think he is from, if I'm not mistaken, he's from... He used like to be from Sin Coast. Sand Coast. Yeah, Sin Coast and Cal. Um, and then he moved over to Irvine. Shouts out to Irvine. Yeah, he actually is a roommate of a good friend of mine. Andrew. Shout out to him though. But enough of that, let's get right into the back into the matchup. And doing a pretty good job. I mean, the deficit there is in Stone Stock, but he's doing a really good job of keeping calm. He gets both of them out of shield here, but once one break kind of gets his opportunities going, he makes sure he keeps them rolling. Yeah, and I feel like one one more. I'm gonna say he was like chilling on the PK fires, but I think he's just like you know waiting for his moment to like just catch him off guard with him. Yeah. This is always weird playing against Villager because of that, and then at the space everything really weird because of the the forwarders and the swing shots. But Lumber showing no signs of being hassled by that at all. Yeah. Clean two stock. Most definitely clean two stock. And you know what? I don't know if we've, we've talked about this in a while on the stream, but man, I love that MSM design. It's so like Mega Man. <laughs> and Mega Man 7 is my favorite Mega Man game, and that's like Super Mega Man 7 design. <laughs> yeah, it is based off the, uh, the, the design scheme of the Mega Man series. Yeah. The vocal was actually originally started by Habib and Sean Chiplock and Champ. A collaboration of the three, Sean Chiplock yeah, would go on to, yeah, he would go on to voice several characters in several animes and even 
Uh, the character revolving in uh, Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. He's actually also the voice of Luke Saibot in Mortal Kombat 11. What? Yeah. Sean Pretty Chiplock, you are... You are a national treasure. Yeah. Ooh, that PK fire that he just did. It, mm -hmm. it was it was weird because he did it an area one, but then he landed and it went straight as if he was uh, rounded. Yeah. And that's like a this thing that Bo was talking about on Twitter. Seems uh, he said it was like super impractical, but it's possible. It's like a one thousandth of a percent of a chance. Yeah. Sometimes the impractical does become practical, especially against opponents who are used to the practical. Yeah. Nice ball drop for going for Nair. I mentioned how Villager can pocket the PK Thunder, yeah. especially when Ness wants to make a recovery. I feel like that's one thing Lumbre is making sure is when he, he tries to not to go for the low recovery, but that back air sets him up Ooh. in the perfect spot to be having, having to go for the low recovery. I wonder if he could have like just like angled it up a little bit to like pop up. And then, nah, there was know. no way. Yeah. The bowling ball, especially really from good. Villager, it does more. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it still does extra knockback when he's falling from the high place. Wow. And then it would have probably like even caught the two frames. Yeah. I did think like a reversal happening in this game. Nice. He mm. knows he knows where Ant was gonna go for the low recovery. And even if Ant did go for the up B, the fact that the down smash from sorry, the up smash from Ness, the active hitbox is gonna be enough to pop both of villager fluids. And it kind of was weird that it like ended up being a stage spike, but probably just because uh, Ant went for a low angle. <laughs> Full smash and round neutral. And you know what? I'll always love a good down air. I'm, I'm sorry. I was so scared for Loomer because he went for that low option there. And that's, like I mentioned earlier, it's a perfect opportunity for Village Dad to just pocket the PK Thunder. Yeah, it's a nasty situation to put yourself in. Ooh. Dang. He, he, I wonder if he's, like, consciously avoiding the, the bowling ball like that. Yeah. But that was, that was really well executed. If anybody's consciously avoiding anything, it's Lumbre consciously yeah. avoiding, like I mentioned earlier, the low recovery goes for the roll, and I like the fact that he's able to understand the positioning where the tree is at, because it does extend hitboxes as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why he, he connected that. I love Ant's collapse against Lumbre in the air, too, as well. He's able to go for Nair, and he's looking for spacing here away from the PK fire to try to whip punish Lumbre for overextending here. Yeah, and you see uh, Ant being a little bit, like, overwhelmed by the control. Came back there, and we're back at a uh, pretty even game. Pick across. Ooh, that was close. But I love the fact that Ant keeps up the aerials here. And it's, it's, it's so um, tough to, like, use Ness and uh, try to, like, you know, battle Villager as, like, a projectile character. It's not, it's not even a competition. But then therein lies like the, the skill of like someone like Lumber. Uh, that was I'm sorry, that was so big because Lumber wanted to kind of mix up and going for a falling up air. But like I mentioned once again, being in the low recovery state and just a few arrows away, nice. And I like the fact that he understands where Lumber is going to be going, sets up for those jab, setting up Lumber to let go of shield and the pressure that Ant is putting oh, on, and the directional yep. air dodge not enough to grab the ledge. That was systematic, and I, it's funny because I, I looked over at. at and once he lost his second stock, and he like, like, did this gesture like, I gotta, I gotta get this, this win. Yeah, and that was still good for Ant too because he also had the tree, which you could also chop down and cover the low recovery. He also had the bowling ball. He also had the forward air. He has uh, down to He has a lot of options, especially at the ledge. One thing that Villager doesn't struggle with is his oh, ability yeah. to ledge trap his opponents and force out one of the five get up options too as well. Yeah. And uh, really unlucky that Lumber kind of. Use his double jump to get back on stage and you know, lost it. Nice, both players kind of playing the footies game here until immediately they find the opportunity to kind of get into one another. It's going to be pretty much loom break getting in first and not too far behind. I like the fact that he sets up the Lloyd though because he wants to force Loomber to go for an aerial and Ant's going to be there to catch him for it. Yeah. Nice, like I said, he wants to set up Ness as much as possible, get a grab, get the key confirms. Good parry. Not enough hits done, allowing Ant to just go for the 1-2 jab. Yeah, you really gotta like, like uh, pick Villager out of the sky. 
he didn't really like uh, he didn't have much of a ground game. It's always like, I don't know. Oh, nice. Good call out the Psycho Man. Doesn't want to get caught by the Fallen Yo Yo. Nice. And he goes for the PK fire and he nice. punishes Anne for that opportunity. To is that like a mix up, like an DI? Because it was a dash attack, right? I mean, no, no, no. It, it, it was just a really good opportunity for him to go for it out of the way. Quick and fast option. Possible that Ruby might have missed input on accident here. Think about the tree here is uh, the tree actually has 50, per, uh, 50 health points. So if you were able to do 50% on the tree, you will get rid of the tree for free. And I feel like that's why Lube Break keeps going, not only because it's PK Fire and it's properly appropriate, yeah. but because PK Fire does a lot of damage over time. Yeah. yeah what an incredible setup for Ant. That was really what? good too, because the way how he kind of set up Lube there off the stage. Great PK Fire to catch that like, uh, aggressive off lift off. Fourth throw, nice. Just get him up the stage, and still able to use his own directional recovery here to come back on the stage, holding shield, but Lubre making sure he has aerial in play to claw up the neutral area out of shield that Ant has been going for. Nice double nair, putting him off the stage, giving him the boxing gloves here, and he's going to sense out Lubre's recovery. I like that uh, PK Thunder uh, recovery. Snuffing out the jump. Yeah. Nice, and I like to put the even sense of the... So I felt that Ant wanted to go for a forward air, maybe trying to sense the fact that Lubre might be going out of... going for Nero to avoid the void. Oh, that was close. That was so close. That would have definitely taken care of this. Yeah, at 76, that's that's a really really kill. Cool. And the Lloyd was really good too. Well placed from Ant. The fact he wanted to stall himself coming back on the stage, but the problem is the Lloyd also extends hitboxes. Oh. Quick little move. Very with two stocks and trying to play the slow patient. Nice pockets the PK fire. That would have been really good for him to get it on Ness. And still kind of playing a little more patient than than he appears. Yeah, he's not trying to overextend. He knows the deficit too, but he also knows what it means to if, if Ness has overextend himself. Good yep, near. Like Nair is relatively fast, sorry, fast on shield, and not only that, it's going to have a little bit of a lasting hitbox too as well. Yeah, what, a, what a cross up for me to right too. Yeah, not, not really falling for those uh, those tree setups. Mmm, they throw that up. That was so close from Ann too, he kind of brought yeah. Lumi to the last dock as well. Yeah, that was a... Uh, I usually um, don't like watching